family gets excited and takes part in the proceedings, performing what we call the mating pandemonium. plus Odette's special post-mating rumble, signal that she is available. And if there is anyone bigger and better than Patrick out there, he should come and get her. ...to her finding the best father for her calf. Once again, Echo and her family have come to visit Cynthia in her camp. Eli is now... At this time of year particularly, females want to avoid injury and will not normally attack each other. But for the homeless female, perhaps this is her last chance. I watch them pose, sizing each other up pushing their necks out and fattening their bodies. Neither will yield. In rare cases, kingfishers will try to drown each other, but in 15 years of watching them, I've only ever seen it once. This female is not giving up. I was about to witness the most startling drama I've ever seen on the river. This is it, to the death. I soon lost track of which one was my bird. I'd no idea how much longer they could last in the water without drowning. when it burst out from the bank. One kingfisher had dived to safety, but which one? It was impossible to tell. The mink had been waiting in ambush, hidden, even from me, almost certainly attracted by the kingfisher's frantic whistling. She stashed the first bird and returned, sure that there was another. But one kingfisher got lucky. She spotted me. We were both so absorbed in the fight that she's as surprised to see me as I was to see her. I was hoping that this bedraggled survivor was my neighbour. And then the proof. Her mate. Reaffirming they're a couple. It's in the darkness. The duck knows that the mink is stalking her, but has no idea where he is. She hides the chicks away in the bank, rough in her urgency. Then, she acts as a decoy to distract the mink. 